What is up, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee. Tapping back in with another one, man. Listen, I know I told y'all we're going to get to some other content and topics besides the slap her around the world, you heard? Um, you know, but it seems to be all anyone is talking about. I do got another update here that is about that topic. Trust me, we'll get to some other ish. Had a wild, busy day. Didn't really get to chime in on a lot of the different news stories and whatnot, but we'll get there. But peep it, man. I think we can all agree when we saw this happen, we were like, God damn. Like, this is crazy. You don't see a lot of moments like this play out on live television. So, you know, we're only 24 hours later here. Everyone's still talking about it. We'll see what it's like in a week. You know what I mean? But anyways, we're over here on D.L. Hewley's page. And D.L. reshared this message. And he's saying, you see what he says, this. Three bullseyes. He's saying it's super duper accurate. He Oh, excuse me, he believes this to be true. Now, peep, this message was originally shared by April Watts Live. It says, unpopular opinion. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock was misdirect misdirected anger and frustration behind becoming a joke, a meme, and the poster boy for emasculation. Damn, this that's cold, right? This is a deep convo, so stay with me, y'all, and make sure to comment and let me know your guys' thoughts uh, by no fault of his own. Chris took that slap for everyone on social media who Will can't hit. Chris also took that slap because Will hasn't properly and effectively dealt with his anger and frustration for Jada. So what do y'all think? Do you guys agree with that statement there? Was that moment, was what Will Smith did there, did it have a lot to do like way more to do with many other things than just what Will Smith or I'm sorry, with what Chris Rock was saying at that moment in time. I mean, right. Let's be honest, guys. How often, so often in many situations with ourselves or with other people, you know, when someone does some real over the top ish in, uh, you know, for a lack of a better term, just wows the fuck out. Uh, very often, it's just not about what's going on right then. It has to do with pent-up feelings, emotions, anger, frustration, right? Like, keep it a buck, guys. Have you ever wowed out? And, um, you know, it had to do with, like, 10 other things that I, I myself have done that, you know? Um, if you're the type of person who pushes things down, you know, uh, says, like, man, this is this is all too deep. I can't deal with all this. Let me... Yo, let me put this in the back burner, in the back of my mind and deal with this ish later. I can't handle it right now. You know what I'm saying? Because so often, you know, we got to be able to get through each day and go about our business and, um, you know, keep everything shaking and moving so our whole lives don't fall apart or other things that we got going on don't fall apart. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a lot to walk around in one piece all the time. So, you know, every now and then. Something hits deep and, um, you know, all that comes out. And um, what do you guys think? Is that what exactly is that happened there with Will Smith? Comment and let me know. But let's get to, you know, what he's talking about here about Will becoming the poster boy for emasculation. Side conversation, not even pertaining to what we're talking about here with Will Smith, just in general. Wifey's been telling me for years that she believes there's an agenda to emasculate um, and, and soften up men. You know what I'm saying? We know there's conversations like alpha men, alpha betas, all that other ish. Um, you know, I don't know if everyone subscribes to and buys into, uh, you know, that uh, way of thinking. But, you know, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. Some people may be strong physically, not as strong emotionally. Some people may be geniuses and you know, they, they, they have other, you know, things that they're not as much of a, a strength for them. I don't know. You feel me? Um, but wifey been telling me for the longest and I got to give it to wifey too. She's a very proactive free thinker. Um, metaphorically speaking, she almost gets tunnel vision when it comes to her way of thinking like, you know, other ish can't really weigh in on her sometimes to her detriment. Um, uh, but often it's a proactive thing, but anyways, I'm getting a little bit off topic. I apologize guys, but she's been saying for the longest, like, yo, coffee, they're trying to emasculate men, um, you know, with the tight clothing, um, you know, with many other, you know, ways 
<clears throat> I could pull her on the video and have her break it all down. I don't know. Maybe that's a discussion everyone's interested in. Um, but, you know, she says that the, the, she believes they've been trying to emasculate men it is, is a plan and agenda. Another thing she said was a big plan, too, is, you know, those O-I-P-A-T-E-S's. She's been saying they've been trying to use that to break down people, um, you know, for a long time as well. You know, like the way certain things were introduced onto society. And again, guys, I know I'm getting a little bit off topic. That's just kind of what Jay Coffee Talk does from time to time. Apologies, just bear with me. We'll get back to talking about this in just one brief moment. But, um, you know, she, she, she had pointed that out. Like, you know, they put these things out there. Then everyone got hooked on those. Then they took those away. Then, you know, they put this other ish that, you know, have people outside strung out like junkies is, is the next big thing. You know what I mean? Then next thing you know, whoa, all that ish is loaded up with poison. You know what I'm saying? Like a classic D-E-P-O-P elation jump off that they got going on, you know, but I don't know. Comment and let me know if you guys think that that's a big thing that's been going on, that they've been trying to emasculate the America, men in America, or maybe not just America, maybe globally. I don't know. But getting back to just talking strictly about Will Smith, I mean, as we pointed out, Will Smith has been a very, very successful dude. Um, and, you know, like that whole jump off that he went through with the entanglement, like that's tough, man. That's private business, but it it came very public, you know what I mean? And it's like, if someone gets cheated on and ends up back, comment and let me know if you've been cheated on before, you've done the cheating, um, you know, and you've worked it out and stayed with your significant other. Um, you know, it, it, it doesn't make someone um, less of a man per se, does it? Or do you think it does? Do you think that if someone is cheated on and goes back, they're just 100% simping in their pimping and that's what it is? Or do you think not nah, like people can get over their problems and carry on? But the fact that we saw it play out live to the world over these red table talks and all this stuff, it was very b bizarre uh, scene to see, right? Like it was just kind of like, yo, this is their private business. You know what I mean? Now it's all out there. There's all these memes and ish like that going on. Like, what do you guys think? Do you think Will Smith just couldn't bear, um, you know, holding that all down anymore? Do you guys think that that was just fucking with him too much? Or do you think it was just strictly about the joke Chris Rock made? Let me know um, in the comments below. We always got to pay attention to stuff going on and we got to take everything for face value, but we do got to kind of delve into it more and break it and bust it down, you know, because a lot of times, man, there'll be a play going on right in front of everyone's eyes and, you know, no one can just get privy to uh, what the real deal what it really is, you know, so... I don't know, man. I touched on a lot in that one. Sorry again, guys, if I'm rambling, stambling, and mumbling, bumbling on on this one. But uh, I don't know. It is what it is. You know, I haven't really made no videos today, so coffee's uh all over the place. But let's 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 discuss it below in the comments. Everything I touched on. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. New viewers, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. It's easy, y'all. It's a couple clicks of a button. Helps me out immensely. Helps get this content out there, these discussions that we, you know, all uh, like to have. Stay tuned for the live streams. And I'm also covering music, news, sports, current events, life, and much, much more. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm about you. Peace.